I say, let's enjoy a few movies. And everyone else says, no, let's have an extravaganza with all the trimmings. You're complaining? No. Well, maybe, because now I need to do it all justice. You got me a decent library, but... I heard someone has a director's cut of Last of the Legion. The band version. Remastered. No crappy extras added for the Hannah. And you want me to look for it? It'd be the gold-dusted cherry on your Sunday. In the meantime, I'll get things set. We're more than ready for a night in. Hello, Scott. Have you come to see if I'm finally broken? To see what discovering that my people were invented has done to me? Just here if you need to talk. I can't imagine what you're feeling. I've been staring out the window, trying to figure that out. That's new. True. Angara are usually very free with our feelings. Not talking about all Angara. I'm talking about you. I'm numb. I'm in awe. There's a peace in knowing that though the universe is beyond your understanding, it doesn't need your understanding to function. That you may even have a hidden destiny. Does it matter? Your people aren't shackled to this new discovery. I agree. We don't owe anything to the Jardin. Our destiny is our own. I'm not broken, Ryder. I'm excited. The Angara were created for a purpose. We were given vaults and golden worlds. All these advanced tools. And there is nothing the Ket can do about it. The future holds more for the never-ending war on the Ket. Much more. For the Angara? Hell, for all of us. These are amazing, crazy days. <laughs> really crazy. Really amazing. It doesn't matter if we were created by a god, reborn from our ancestors, or exist as the dream of an AI superpower. This discovery changes nothing, except ourselves, and that's everything. <laughs>